So, in today's class we will be taking a look at uh, diffusion models and uh, for a specific example on how we can model uh, some existing scenarios, how do you estimate parameters and uh, beta diffusion models. We have seen uh, a stock flow representation of the diffusion model where we defined divided the pop total population into two potential adopters of the product and the adopters of the product and adoption rate uh, or the sales rate will move people from potential adopters to adopters driven by the factors of contact rate as well as probability of buying i. So, the equations are uh, shown. So, you can see A r is c into i into p into a by n total ma the total population is conserved n is equal to p plus a. So, in this model the key thing that you have to understand is as soon as one person buys the product eventually everybody will buy the product. So, the model will run until the potential adopters become 0 and adopters is equal to n there is nothing stopping them in uh, preventing them from stopping halfway. So, here as soon as one person buys the product then p more potential adopters will eventually buy the product. Now, let us see how we can use it for more real examples. Suppose, the sales rate that is the units per year for each quarter is given in the following table. Uh, the sales record is from 1981 to 1987 quarter 1 to 4 per year and the units per year is given and when we plot it we get a sales rate graph as shown here that is the units per uh, yeah ok. So, step 1 is once we get the data we visualize what we want. Uh, so, the data here shows a kind of a bell shaped uh, pattern it increases peaks at around uh, 1984 uh, third quarter and then it rapid it falls down and uh, kind of it is 0 at uh, 1987 uh, fourth quarter. So, that is the data that has been provided to us. Now, we would like to see how we can kind of simulate this kind of behavior using the diffusion models that we have learnt. The first is to map it let us just make the observations sales data follows a bell shaped pattern in that case it is reasonable to think that the diffusion model might fill fit this data. So, what we have is the sales rate this is nothing but the adoption rate that is obvious Then what will be the cumulative sales we are going to map it to the diffusion model. So, diffusion model we have seen the terms adoption rate. So, in our example that is a sales rate. So, what will be the cumulative sales in a diffusion model? Owners are the adopters, the model we just define adopters. So, that will be our cumulative sales. So, if it is a indeed a diffusion model, then this adopters or cumulative sale need to represent a S shared pattern. Now, that the sales rate is a cumulative sales rate, we know that sales rate as it increases and then the sales rate is decreasing the underlying graph has to be S shaped correct it is intuitive, uh, but we can go ahead and plot it and see also what happens. The as you know, first step is we are going to do is we have the sales data that is only data we have based on that let us try to figure out what is the cumulative sales data plot it and see what is the curve. Then we will figure out how to estimate the parameters C i initial value of potential adopters, initial value of adopters uh, and the total population n ok. So, let us do that for that I urge you to to download the excel file and open it. The data whatever we saw is given. So, column b is given to you and based on column b if you scroll down the graph is also plotted which is nothing but the sales rate we have plotted those two values right here ok. Nothing else to do just observe what is there in the field ok. So, first thing we are doing is the actual sales data gives it which year and which quarter and things like that, but of our computation simulation purposes we can reset the scale to 0 ok. So, the time starts at 0 
and then since it is every quarter we can just make it 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 0 0.1 and so on and that is what the reset uh, time column is put ok. Though we have data until only to 1987.4, we are just extending it for a few more data points which is fine. So, all we have done here is reset the uh, time starting at 0. In this sense this is a slightly tricky example. The units of sales rate is units per year. That is, at every quarter I am selling what is the quantity per year, ok. But we want what we want is what is actual quantity sold in that quarter. So, to compute that, first we divide sales that is units sold in that quarter as uh, sorry, should be 2 by 4. This noted uh, the equation you see will be incorrect, you just change it to it should be 2 divided by 4. See what happened is kind of it is like you are accounting for that in a simulation time step or uh, the level of accuracy. Every quarter they are reporting what is the sales rate per year, but what you want is actual quantity that is sold in that quarter. So, since each year has 4 quarters, we are dividing the sales by 4. So, let us just divide it. So, it is B2 by 4. And you just drag the column all the way to the end. Now, load it. So, sales is nothing but uh, units sold that quarter is the total units sold divided by 4 that is the quantity sold in that quarter. The cumulative sales the first value is 0, the second value is the formula is given it's nothing but current cumulative sales plus whatever has been sold in that quarter. So, the second row you can drag it. to the end you will get cumulative sales column is 7900. So, all of you got this values. So, all the steps that I am telling you right now is is also written on the right side of the sheet. Step 1 rescale time, step 2 get the quarter wise sales column E, step 3 calculate cumulative sales column F ok. So, now just stop there up to column F is sufficient. Uh, so, if you scroll down after doing column F, you will see a right side graph. I mean the formulas have been pre filled for you. So, as soon as put your numbers the graph will uh, show this figure. So, this right side graph shows the cumulative sales data or the total number of adopt the adopters over time which is a classical S shaped. So, it looks like we can fit a diffusion model to see uh, how well we can fit it. Just hold on to that so that you understand what you are doing there is so many spreadsheets. Now, we need to pretty much estimate these parameters C i, P naught, A naught and N from the data that is given. To estimate these parameters, we need to look at a bit of maths. Let us go ahead and do that. So, we are going to go to the equations. Diffusion model, analytical equation. It is going to be a pretty lengthy derivative. So, you can get started. We have seen that the adoption rate A r is equal to C into I into P into A by N. So, this is what we had seen from the uh, equation.
so whatever is the sales rate or the adoption rate is the same rate at which my actual adopters change so this is nothing but the change in the number of adopters a so you want a smaller equation what i am plotting here is this model for simplicity sake i'm just going to do it c into i is this okay so this is the model and the underlying equation is shown so the change in a same as c into i into p into a by n we know that p plus a is equal to n or p is equal to n minus a so we can rewrite our uh, dA by dt as c into i into a into n minus a by n so remember what we did to solve for uh, when you had exponential growth or uh, Uh, asymptotic growth. We try to solve the equations and to try to figure out what is analytical solution for it. We are going to do a very similar thing uh, right now. So you would like to uh, solve this. So this let us just denote it as equation one. Solving let us say d a by. Uh, n into da by a into n minus a is equal to c into i into dt uh, integrating it on both sides let's put it like t not into t and we are going to get n da by a into n minus a equal to t not t c into i into dt which then gives me Just continuing the last equation. I'm just integrating it, so which gives us uh, log of a t minus log of n minus a t minus log of a not minus log of n minus a not equal to c into i into Uh, t. So t not is a time zero. So the last term disappears. So this can be rewritten as log of a t by n minus a t minus log of a not by n minus a not equal to c into i into t. or log of at by pt minus log of a not by p not will be seen by into t let's call it as equation 2 right again i can play with this main equation as per my uh, convenience So this can be further solved, or uh, to give us another expression as a t by n minus a t is equal to e power 
C I T into A naught by N minus A naught, let us call it equation 3. And we do not need to go through this to get it here, just from here we can get this expression. So, we can get it from here, uh, we can uh, compute the expression for uh, A t. So, what you are trying to do is trying to come and solve for A t, this is just intermediate step, we can view it in this form or we can expand further. N minus A t is nothing but P t, I just want to reinforce it that is why these are so equivalent. Either I represent as PT or n minus AT. Uh, I can remove logarithm by raising to the power e, which is what I did in equation number three. I can actually solve for from this equation. I can directly solve for AT to get AT is equal to n divided by one plus n by a naught minus 1 into e power minus c i t. Let us call it equation number 4. So, from 3 I have a t and n minus a t you can take n minus a t you know, the other side multiply then get it over the other side take a common factor of a t then again go back divide it. And if you solve, you will get this uh, expression a t is equal to n by 1 plus a, n by a naught minus 1 into e power minus c into t by uh, into uh, c into i into t, first t is the time. So, in this equation, if you see initial value of adapters is required, that is initial value of adapters 0, there is no uh, diffusion model happening. So, there has to be initial value of adapters as soon as the initial value of adapters is going to be there, this equation will come into effect. C is known, I is known, N is known, A naught is known. So, all the parameters are known. The only way thing that changes here is time. So, as we progress with time, we can compute value of adoption rate or the not adoption rate, adopters or in our example, it is the cumulative to sales. Based on these equations, we already come to so much. We can actually ask some very basic questions on, you know, when net adoption rate reach maximum. We are taking it as from one adoption rate is already given as c into i into a into n minus a by n, which is a minus c into i into a squared by n. Taking first differential and set to zero, we can get. C i minus 2 into C into i into a by n equal to 0, which gives us a is equal to n by 2. So, when a is equal to n by 2, it is going to reach the maximum. Uh, you can take you can check second dif differential. If you do second differential, you will find it is a negative. So, that means it is a maximum point. Uh, so, but when does this occur? At what time will this occur? At what time will this occur? How will I find it? At what time will it occur? To figure this out, um, substitute a t is equal to n by 2 in your equation, uh, what is it? In your equation 4 and solve for t. 
So, you substitute a t is equal to n by 2 in equation 4 and solve for it. This is equation 4, this is equation 4. So, you substitute a t is equal to n by 2, solve it for t and you will get t is equal to 1 by c into i into logarithm of p naught by a naught. So, this is the time at which it is going to hit the maximum.